Melissa, not the way you want to finish the season, but you must be really proud of the girls this season. Yeah, it's disappointing that once again we uh, lost in the last 10 seconds of the game, but um, you know, it's pretty much sums up our season, so why not go out with the, with the same mentality that we did the rest of the season? No, I'm very proud of the girls. I mean, uh, a lot of us came in here not knowing what we would expect, but um, credit to the girls that we put up all season, you know, fought hard and credit to the coaches to getting the more than the best out of a lot of the players. What were your initial thoughts when you were coming into the Lady Reds? Because, you know, they hadn't had the best reputation in the last couple of seasons. Yeah, I mean, you don't know what you were going to get because it was a completely different uh, setup. Uh, Ross Aloisi coming in, uh, you knew it was going to be one of those things that uh, make or break, you know, depending on how we took in the role. But as soon as I walked in the door, the professionalism uh, was just 100% every time. And uh, under that sort of guidance, you can't fail, really. How crucial was it that everyone bought in? Oh, it was definitely very crucial. I mean, a lot of players were making the Adelaide side uh, as a given every week and week in and week out. But with Ross, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you train well, you play. And it doesn't matter who you are or what you are or what you've done in the past. If you don't perform week in, week out, you don't get a, a stamp on the on this team sheet. It's, it's what you can put in that the team will get out of you. At the beginning of the season, you had some doubts coming back to the WLA, but you must believe you've exceeded your own expectations. Well, uh, coming back from a baby, you know, I, I think I would have exceeded a lot of people's expectations alone just stepping back onto the path. But in terms of where I've come uh, since coming back, I think I've, expe I've exceeded my own expectations. I can't believe I'm this strong. I can't believe I've played this well. It's, it's probably the best I've ever played in my career and um, I'm just sad that Tommy Samani isn't here to see it. <laughs> he, was, he was probably the one that was uh, least uh, impressed by babies and uh, all that sort of thing. So I think he would be the one that would, would be impressed most. Little Birdie told me he's been watching a couple of games. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> but in terms of for you, I mean, as you said, this must be the best that you're playing. You look really fit, really confident. And the challenge of a young team, a young defence and, and working with them. Uh, it definitely brings up uh, every area of my game. I have to be sure that I'm on, on target with every, like talking and, and making sure the girls know what to do. And hopefully they've learned a lot off me this season so that next season I don't have to talk as much and I can solely focus on goalkeeping. <laughs> We do love hearing your dulcet tones on the coverage. I can just imagine. <laughs> um, Asia Cup, that's coming up shortly. Do you feel you've done enough to be selected? Uh, I've done the best I can. I mean, I've, I've, I would love to play under Hesterine. I heard she's a great coach. Um, I'd love to play with the girls again. I've done my part. All I can do is just leave it in the hands of other people. So I'm proud of myself and where I've come and what I can do as a player now. Um, but, you know, I'd love to be back in the fold. I'd just love to play under Hesterine and, and just be a part of it all. In terms of um, the Lady Reds, it's a good first season, but as you saw, there are things that can be changed and built upon. Um, is this a project you'd like to be a part of? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, it's going to be hard again because um, probably my husband wasn't the happiest with having us away all the time, but. Um, he understands and he's proud of us, uh, you know, and, and what we've achieved and having Holly with me in Adelaide, it's not easy for him. So hopefully if I can buy him into the situation, then uh, yeah, I don't see why not, uh, why I can't be a part of the Lady Reds again next season. But uh, I'm just proud of the girls, you know, we, we've done so well and, and yet we have so much to work on and we've, we've just finished out of finals again. So it's like... Um, what, what, what have we got in store next season?